Hi everyone, welcome back to Leveling Up From The Inside. As you saw from the title, today I'm gonna be going over all kinds of binders. Binders that we wear after we have tummy tuck surgery. Woo um, first, uh, my, a little bit about me. I had gastric sleeve surgery done in April of 2019 and I was within 10 pounds of my goal weight by November of 2019. So I had a circumferential tummy tuck, which is also called the lower body lift. Um, so my scar actually goes all the way around. And for those of you not familiar with that surgery, it's all the same uh, stuff that you would get with a tummy tuck. I had muscle repair and lipo. Um, and then back here, what they do is like this gets pulled down, this gets pulled up, and it just kind of gets rid of a lot of extra stuff going on back there. Um, so at this time it is July 12th and I am eight months post-op and I wanted to share with you all the different binders that I've used as I've gone through my different levels of healing. Um, with your tummy tuck, you will still swell. They tell me it's up to a year. Some people said they swell beyond that. Um, and I believe, uh, I'm pretty active and, uh, the, there's, there's definitely such a thing as swell hell. Um, I don't get like day swollen as much, like from going to work and things like that. Um, however, when it's like that time of the month, I get super, super swollen. So I definitely still wear some of these compression garments. So I'm gonna go through them quickly and tell you what I still wear, what helped me in the past, and what I like to wear with what type of clothing, because that's gonna help too. Uh, let's see really quickly. Um, I am not going to be covering the Faja in this video The Faja is a South American compression garment. A lot of plastic surgeons do recommend them uh, For you know uh, this type of surgery. However, you have to get a specific type of Faja It's not just anyone is going to give you the compression you need a lot of them are more you know focused on like cinching this area and after you have a tummy tuck, you really need compression down here. So if you are considering buying a Faja, I would definitely talk to your doctor and find out what type you need. My doctor didn't say I needed one and Fajas are expensive. I have had one in the past, um, but I figured I would wait until after I have my next round of skin removal, which is coming up in three weeks. So if you want to follow that journey, you're going to want to make sure that you subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you're enjoying this so far, don't forget to like my channel. Um, so August 3rd, I'm going to be having a brachioplasty, breast augmentation, and medial thigh lift. And then I'll be done. Finally. Okay, so let's get into the compression garments. All right, bad boy number one. When you come home from the hospital, either you will be wearing a Faja type garment or you will be wearing one of these. Just wraps around like this. Do, 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 do. Um, under this, you're gonna have some foam pads. They're like sticky on one side and they just kind of hold you in. And I had them all the way around. Again, cause mine goes all the way around. If you guys want a quick scar, that's where I'm at at eight months up with my scar. Um, so you have on those foam things and then this would go on top of that. I did need help getting into this when I had the foams in in order to get it as tight as it needed to be um, just because I didn't have the strength to get it as tight as they did when I left the, the surgical center. Um, once I no longer needed to wear the foam, um, again, I was not able to get this tight enough to give me the compression that I needed in order to feel comfortable. Um, you know, at that time it was probably like 10 days, maybe 14 days out. So I still needed something, but this was just not giving me enough. So I ordered this guy. Oh my goodness. This is my most favorite binder in the world. So let me tell you, I went on Amazon when that one was not feeling very comfortable and I looked up compression. I said compression garments after tummy tuck. And there was a huge list of all different ones and they were all wicked expensive. So I don't remember how I stumbled onto this little guy, but I was like, you know what? For $20, I'm gonna give that little boy a shot and see if that's gonna do what I want it to do. So I'm gonna put it up so you got put it on. 
so you guys can see the awesomeness. You're gonna line it up. You gotta kind of like jiggle it there. This one's always a pen. This is a very, very well worn uh, binder at this point, so my Velcro is a little. But I promise you, it is a very good quality garment. Okay, so this is sold for postpartum after people have a baby. Um, and the reason it is, it's got all these different levels of, or these different places where you can tighten it to get compression based on where you need it. Oh my gosh, hello, I had tummy tuck. I want that. So I use this at night to sleep, even still at eight months out, I will wear this a couple times a week just to keep everything from swelling because I still swell, it's true. Um, but if I, you know, if I wear this during the day, I could wear it during the day. I don't as much anymore, but I did for a really long time wear this during the day. Um, but you can loosen this part, and if you're swollen down here, you can tighten that part. Or if you want more cinching in the middle, you tighten this part. Best $20 I spent on anything related to my tummy tuck was this right here. So, bottle again, you can see it goes up back here. I will definitely link this below if anything well there's a couple other products that are gonna be must-haves but this please consider it twenty dollars get one of these um they do have another version um i'll try it on quickly so you can see the difference i got this one to wear more for work um however you could see it over my clothes or you could see it under my clothes rather so i didn't wear it as much for that however this i would wear kind of around the house if I'm just home doing homework or cleaning or with the kid. Let's see here. Yeah, oh, my son thinks this thing is hilar hilarious. He likes hearing all the Velcro, so he's always opening them up. But the difference between this one and that one is it's got this like extra waist shaper built into it. So you have the basic one like the other one. And then doing this and this, and it really pulls in that area. You can kind of pull it up here, pull it down here. I wear this more now during the day. Um, I probably started wearing this comfortably at like three months. And the, the big difference between the two is this one is a lot stiffer than this one where this one is just super soft. It's soft, but it's just stiff. I don't, I don't know how else to explain it. Um, also, I can sleep in the yellow one pretty easily. This one is not comfortable to sleep in. The boning, I can feel it a lot more than that one. It just is what it is. However, if you do feel like you want to get this little extra waist center in there, then you do have this version, and it's I think it's the same price, so it's going to be about 20 bucks. Oh, really quick, with all of these binders, all right, write this tip down. So you're gonna be wearing these every single day. That's why I have multiple ones because I would wash them out in between. So what I eventually did is I bought some tank tops to wear under them so that I could wash these every day and then wash the regular binders maybe every third day um, because they do, it does put wear and tear on them if you wash them too much. But obviously after you have a tummy tuck it's super important that we wear them all the time at least i was told for the first three months i did for the first six so i was actually i still wear it not every day all the time but i still wear compression at least part of the day but get yourself some tank tops so that you don't have to wash those constantly so when i eventually went back to work i got one of these guys Although I did wear the yellow one to work a few times, um, you could still see it through my clothes, so I needed something smoother. So this guy here, it's got these little closures and it's got a few different sizes. So as your swelling goes down, it can, you know, get smaller. When you're buying something like this, do not go by the sizing small, medium, large. It will have in there, and you'll see it, I'll link it below. It'll say if your waist is this size and your waist, you know, your hips are this size, go buy those measurements. Otherwise, you may end up with the way wrong sizing. It just depends on the country that makes it. So definitely go buy the size chart that's usually attached, like a, a picture versus like the one that Amazon 
puts in there. Um, this was a rock star. I have slept in this. Um, it's not my favorite to sleep in. However, probably within the first 12 weeks, first three months, um, I did sleep in this a few times just because I was super swollen. Um, and I just needed something different. You, you know, you want to vary what you sleep in. So I was just trying it out and that was a good, but during the day, great choice. Also gives you a super sexy, like curvy curves. So this is a nice piece for that. Then compression for work clothes after, I'm going to say after month four, when I didn't need as much, but you still need something. That's where these bad boys came in. So this one is your classic like tank compression. Your, it sits under your bra, like down here. And then it's just a, a cincher that's gonna pull you in. Um, what I really liked about this is that it sits kind of low on my hip. And since my scar was kind of up here, it didn't bother my scar like some of the shapers can. Um, and it was super, super comfortable to wear at work. If you're having the circumferential, this piece also sat pretty low be below my scar so it was quite comfortable and didn't bother or irritate it at all um then we have like this little shaper panty pant it's got the little rubber it's about two inches of the little rubber down there you see that super comfy also gave me perfect amount of compression without it being too much um, super, super comfy and must haves for work. These two, um, price wise, they're going to be in like the 30 to $50 range, depending on where you find it, get a good quality one. Cause you're going to wear it a lot and you're going to wash it a lot. And the better the quality, the longer it's going to last you. Finally, I have this guy. Let me see it here. I got this one at Kohl's. It's not a short, it's like open there. And I thought, holy smokes, how nice and smooth it is. This is going to be perfect. What you do is you slip it on from below. Um, you would open this. So it's a little, you know, you got a little more when you're putting it on. Then you zip it up and it kind of just sucks everything in. I got this primarily to wear to work. However, it had boning, like, let me show you. So that's the front. And this is where the boning fell in the back. So it was kind of like right here. And it was so uncomfortable, at least for me, because I've got chunkies in the back from the weight loss. These dug into my back so badly. Um, so what I did is I figured I'm never going to wear it again. So let me just try something. So I took the boning out and I used these for sleep and they were great for sleep. Um, I also use these when I go on vacation. Um, my son and I go to Disney a lot because I live in Florida. And these are awesome to sleep with at night. Um, I do get really swollen when I go to the theme park. So this is great compression without being overwhelming. So that is all I have for you guys. If I left anything out or if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And I look forward to um, 